Thank you for the introduction. Hello everyone, this is Chow Fung. I gonna present our work, our F-identity non-intrusive person identification based on commodity FID devices. This work has been done with Northwest University and the Mass. Next, we will talk about our motivation. Nowadays, personal identification plays a critical role in a large range of applications. For example, in a smart home, we can provide personalized services such as switching TV to the favorite channel, adjusting the room temperature and lighting conditions. In mobile payment scenario, we can pay with a contact-free manner. In entrance guard scenario, we can enter the room without a need for card touch. Thus, personal identification is very crucial for our daily life. Next, we will talk about the current existing solutions for personal identification. Traditional personal identification systems mainly use password fingerprint, iris, recognition or camera. Although they can achieve promising performance, they have the following limitations, such as memory load replay attack, high cost and privacy leaks. Fortunately, our based personal identification methods provide a better way due to appealing contact-free nature. Recently, some works have used our signals to identify users. These works can achieve very high accuracy, but requiring users to keep stable walking pattern a camera, or each user to carry an effort card. Further, they cannot identify static users. Hence, we present our F-Identify system can both passively identify walking users and static users. Our F-Identify has three advantages. First, the hardware cost it works on cheap commodity of ID devices. Second, high accuracy it combines the unique walking pattern features and the body shape features of a user. Third, our F-Identity is easy to deploy. Now that we know what we want to achieve and the question is how do we get there. To present our basic idea we conduct two benchmark experiments. First we let two volunteers walk naturally through the sensing area one by one. In the second experiment two volunteers are asked to stand still at the same position for a period of 10 seconds. For the walking case we can see that first different tags have different amounts of phase and amplitude changes. Particularly when the subject blocks the lost path variations are large. Second, different subjects cause different amounts of changes in phase and amplitude readings. For the static case, we observe that different users cause different amounts of phase and amplitude at each tag. Hence, these observations indicate that we can use phase and amplitude readings to identify the target. Our key solution is integrating a walking pattern and the body shape features to identify a dynamic user. To extract the walking pattern, we design a two-path channel network to fuse phase and amplitude readings to extract the walking pattern features. In particular, we design an attention block to let the model focus more attention on those tags whose readings are more sensitive to users walking. To obtain body shape features, we first use amplitude difference information with our T-I technique to obtain constructed tomographic image for a walking target. Then we utilize an encoder network to extract body shape features. Finally, we combine the walking patterns and body shape feature to identify a user. To demonstrate the combined features can work better than the walking features, we use controls to visualize the learned features. We can clearly see that the combined feature is more distinguished. Generally, there usually is a new user to register and traditional method is to retrain the whole network, which is time consuming. To reduce the time overhead, we employ a transfer learning method to speed up the convergence of the model parameters. The basic idea is to freeze the weights of the feature extraction module and only fine tune parameters of updating module thus substantially reducing the time and human labor cost for data collection. The last challenge is how to accurately identify a static user. A key intuition is exploiting tag diversity in spatial domain to construct phase and amplitude profiles as the biometric features. As shown in the figures, we can see that different users exhibit different phase and amplitude profiles constructed with data collected from spatially deployed tags. However, when we let one subject stand still at a fixed position, repeatedly collect readings three times, we can see that the readings of some tags are stable while others are not. To overcome the above issue, we devise a weight-based distance method to differentiate profiles of different users. Where the first parameter represents the ability to identify different users, the second parameter represents the similarity between training and testing profiles. Finally, we use the some tool to present the features. We can see different users have different distributions. Next, we deploy 12 tags to form a tag array on one side of the door and other side is the reader. The horizontal distance between the antenna and the middle point of the tag array is 1.5 meters. The height of the antenna is 1.2 meters above the ground. In our default experiments, we recruit 50 volunteers, 28 males and 22 females. Different subjects have different heights and weights. We first present the overall person identification. We can see that our system can achieve an average accuracy of 94.2% and 95.9% in dynamic and static person identification respectively, which demonstrates our identity works well in both cases. Next, we explore the performance of feature fusion. 
for the dynamic case we can see that combining the walking pattern features and body shape features can achieve less performance. In addition, we can see that combine the phase and amplitude information works better than each of them. We now evaluate the performance of transfer learning scheme. We can see that it can reduce the training cost and retain a high identification accuracy. To explore the impact of different number of test users, we change the number of tested users from 10 to 50. We can see that the identification accuracy decreases with more users. This result is expected because with more targets to be differentiated, average difference between targets features get smaller. To conclude, this work can achieve person identification for both dynamic and static persons using commodity RFID devices. We propose a set of schemes to identify dynamic and static users. Finally, we conduct extensive experiments to demonstrate the effectiveness and robustness of our F identity. Thanks a lot for your listening.